Hello, welcome back to another video. Today, slightly different, I've kind of, after doing those two videos where I was drilling the T-toes, it's absolutely just done my knee in. So today, no jumping. But I did get a question from Awesome Guy, and it said, tips on the regular toad. I can go into the cross, but I always trip when I uncross. The rope seems to always end up on my shims when I uncross. I can't jump it. I thought since I'm not jumping, I would I'd just give you some tips um, on the regular toad. I'll just do a toad on one side, at least I'm, you know, I'm only jumping on, on one leg, effectively. Let me just make sure this is clear, this is not a tutorial, this is just some tips on a particular, particular thing. Let's see if we can get this. So if we go toad like that, you see how my, my it's not gone through? I'll try it again. Again, same thing's happened, you see? Now what I'm not doing there is I'm not articulating this, this hand. So what I'm going to do differently now, and I hope this works, is I'm going to, when I'm bringing this arm, hand, arm hand, round under, from underneath my leg, I'm basically going to be doing like this kind of motion. So like almost scooping like a backwards, a backhanded scoop, if that makes sense. So let's give that a go. See, it's really, it's really, really subtle. And how I kind of found this out was, because I do things on both sides, I was finding that my natural non-dominant side toad was better than my dominant side. So, which is weird, right? So then I was like, well, what's the difference? And the only thing that was really consistently different was my ability to use my wrist. So my right wrist is a lot more, I don't know how to say it, um, dexterous? Is that the word? Is that the right word? I don't know. But then my left doesn't want to move as much. So my left re re relies on my forearm to move to do the same movements, whereas my right will move more freely. So give that a go. I'll do it from this angle and see if it's a bit more clear there. And then I'll do it again without moving my hand. I'll try to keep this video really short. Unfortunately, because I can't jump, what I was planning to film today was a, uh, a double under tutorial. But, you know, if you can't jump, doing single bounces, double unders is just a, uh, well, silly, quite frankly. No! See, T too tempting, I'm not doing it. All right, there we go. So, not a full kind of rundown of the toad, just a little tip that might help you if you're getting stuck. So, anyway, awesome guy, I hope that helps you. Yeah, let me know if that has helped. Uh, and hopefully it helps someone else. Also, if you've got any more questions or any other moves that you're having trouble with, I'll do what I, I'll do what I can to help if I, if I am able. That's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe if that's what you're into, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.